Good morning and welcome to Spontaneous Science! Thank you for joining us this morning and uh, Spontaneous Science is where we try to do science experiments straight from home with stuff around that you can get from home. Um, so today all you need is a dry dry erase marker. This experiment will not work with permanent markers. Um, as you all know, permanent markers, if you draw on your face, it doesn't come off too easily. But dry erase, good markers. Try not to get the wet erase markers. Don't try to get the wet erase markers. Um, if you don't have one of these at home, you can find one at the Family Dollar, you can find one at the Dollar Tree, and you can find one at Walmart. So ask your parents. So, dry erase marker. Aluminum foil. Shiny stuff. Ask your parents if you guys have this. And you can find this at Family Dollar and the local grocery store as well. Um, so you're going to need aluminum foil, dry erase marker, bendable straws, or just a straw. We got some bendable straws this week. Bendable straws or straw. And a cup of water. A cup of water, clear, cold water, straight from the sink, or straight from the lake, or straight from the ocean. That would be so fun. Anyway, so what we are going to do today is we are going to race spiders. How are we going to do that, Caleb? Well, let me show you. You're going to take your aluminum foil, you're going to rip it into a nice little square. Nice little square, spread it out. And we are going to fold up all four corners. Fold up all four corners. And after five years, here we go. Whew. We got our little barricade. This is so that no water escapes the arena here. All right, so flatten out a good space on bottom. Try not to poke a hole on bottom. You're going to take your permanent, uh, not permanent, Expo dry erase marker, and uh, we're going to draw a spider. We're gonna draw a spider, so one big circle. Try not to do it too big, it might not work. Shapes. All right. So you guys should have something that looks like this. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, okay. And you're going to pour your water from the cup, not on the drying, but slightly around the drying very slowly and it will slowly come off the paper patience is key we have something that is floating in our arena and so what you guys can do is just kind of watch it float kind of like uh, soak up all the sun rays and imagine it being in a pool of chlorine and you guys can try two spiders maybe two sick people get your brother and sister if you don't have a brother and sister get a friend and race the people or the spiders or the animal or your drawing down the track and you know that sounds like a fun idea I think I'm going to try it me myself and I and we're uh, going to race down the track um, so give me a moment I'm going to spend an extra five years and build a race course so here we go
Extra large race course complete. All right. Now where are the spiders? I don't know. Where are the spiders? Oh, right here, right here. Spam them. All right. Don't worry. They're not loose. All right. I'm going to blow these guys back. This is a game you guys can play with your brothers and sisters or friends. Build an extra large racetrack, fill it with water, put your spiders or figures in there, and we are going to race them all the way down to that. And you can even put like a finish line, starting line, or a finish line right at the end. So here we go. Just me, myself, and I, because I have no friends. Just kidding. They're not here at the moment. Anyway, so here we go. On your mark. Get set. Swim! Ah. Ah. Okay. All right. Okay, eventually, eventually they're good. They'll uh, get on the other side. Okay, I gotta work out some more. All right. This has been Spontaneous Science, and we hope that you guys are able to do this project and experiment, experiment with this. Uh, draw like a sick figure, draw an animal, um, see if like hot water does anything to it, um, see if like lukewarm water does anything to it. Um, different ways of doing it, uh, different kinds of markers maybe, um, whatever you can find around your house, just experiment with it. And uh, so, until next week, as we begin to work with magnetism, um, so long. This has been Spontaneous Science.